Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to make a video showing off my newest project. I just finished it up. I still have a few minor things to do on it, but it's pretty much done. Uh, this is a variable load bank. Um, it's all electronic. It can uh, handle 4,000 watts. I'm going to be using this with my AMM1 to dyno amplifiers. Um, basically what happens is with these two pieces combined you basically have an AD1 amp dyno. I mean you essentially have the same thing. So this is an old computer case. I've put the loads inside of it. I'll show you. I'll turn it on here. Okay, so basically you have a menu here. You can select what ohm load you want. 1 ohm, 1.6 ohm, 2 ohm, 4 ohm, 8 ohm. Um, eventually I want to upgrade this to be able to do lower loads and more power. But for right now, 1 ohm is the lowest load. So, and then you basically select your uh, load. And there we have it. So, got current voltage and minimum voltage speaker connections right here go ahead and uh, I got this little kicker 400.1 I'm going to hook up to it show you exactly how it works alright so I got my AMM1 hooked up I plugged right into the front here with uh, some banana plugs I got my speaker wires run from the amplifier through the AMM1 and back into the amp lab and let's power this up now this also has uh, temperature controlled fans so the hotter it gets the faster they go if it reaches an unsafe temperature that's when that warning light will come on it also has under voltage protection so right now it's set at 11 volts so if we hit 11 volts the light will come on and the buzzer will sound just letting us know so alright let's put it on 2 ohm load there we go our current and our minimum voltage now I'm running this whole thing off one kinetic 1400 battery so um, you're definitely going to see some voltage drop on this test even with the small 400 watt amp. I definitely need to upgrade the battery bank. So, Alright, I'm going to be using the SMD AD1 test disc. Now I've already set all the gains on this with the DD1 so I know where it distorts. Oh. Let's try this again. Pretty old head unit. Sometimes it doesn't like to read the discs. Alright, so got the AMM1 all set to go. I'm going to unpause the track. There we go, 335 watts. That's at 2 ohm. Let's look at our voltage though. 11.82 yeah, volts is what we saw during that test. So, I uh, definitely need to upgrade the batteries. I'm sure it would do more. I'm sure it would do rated at proper voltage. So, uh, let's try a 1.6 ohm test. So, we can back back out of here. We'll go to 1.6 ohm. We'll reset the AMM1 and we'll start the track back over. So this is at 1.6 ohms. Uh, 
not much more. 368 watts. Uh, I was at a little bit lower voltage, 11.65 volts. So, so everything works great. Uh, you can has a reset button on it if you want to reset everything. Basically, starts the test over again. All right, let me open this thing up and I'll show you guys inside. Let's give you a look inside here. So first off, down here, uh, this is our dummy load. This is actually four 1,000 watt, four ohm braking resistors, all sandwiched together in sort of a heat sink. Got seven relays. This is what's doing all the switching between parallel and series. Back of the display board, LCD screen, buttons. Everything is quick disconnects, so I can unplug the screen. The whole front panel can come off. And this is the brains. Um, underneath this board is an Arduino. This is what's doing all the processing. This is all updatable by USB. I did all the coding myself. And basically you have a bunch of transistors that run the relays and the fans. Um, the relays and the dummy loads can actually be completely disconnected. Fans and everything. This whole panel can actually be disconnected and slid out through the back of the case. So in case a dummy load fails or something, I don't have to try to work on it inside this case. I can slide the whole thing out and replace it if need be. So. And then this just plugs back onto here, just like that. That's it. Not much to it, just an old computer case. A lot of wiring. Uh, this little pot right here, if you're wondering, it just uh, it's the contrast for the display. But got a makeshift temperature sensor right now. It's just a regular thermistor. I have an actual uh, LM35 temperature sensor coming and eventually once that comes I will rewrite some code so I can show the actual temperature on the display as well. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Questions in the comments. See you guys later.